Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving, thanksgiving and majesty. Who you cover yourself with light as with a garment. Who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with water. Who makes the clouds his means of approach. Who walks on the wings of the winds. Who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on his stable foundation. It shall not be moved into ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The water shall stand upon the mountains. At your rebuke they shall flee. At the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place you founded for them. You set a boundary they shall not pass over. Neither shall they return to cover the earth. You are he, he who sends springs into the valley. The water shall stand pass between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field. The wild asses shall quench their thirst. The birds of heaven shall dwell beside them. They shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who waters the mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle and the green plant for the service of man, to bring forth bread from the earth and wine gladdens the heart of man, to brighten his face with oil and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nest, the house of the heron takes the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer, the cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for seasons, the sun knows his setting. You established darkness and it was night, wherein all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together, and they shall be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. There is this great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you that you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him and I shall be glad in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth and the lawless so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness and it was night. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it, with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, and for all in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. 
for favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong our glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. <coughs> Amen. Kyrie ke kraksa proset Isak kuson mu Isak kuson mu kyrie Kyrie ke kraksa Isakuson mu proskes ti foni tis deiseos mu endoi ke krajene me prose Isakuson mu. For you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Hear me, hear me, O Lord. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, a door of enclosure above my lips. Incline not my heart to evil words, to make it uses and sense. With men who work lawlessness, and I will not join with their choice ones. A righteous man shall correct me with mercy, and he shall reprove me. Let not the oil of the sinner anoint my head. For my prayer shall be intense in the presence of their pleasures. Their judges are swallowed up by the rock. They shall hear my words, for they are pleasant. As a clod of ground is dashed to pieces on the earth, so their bones were scattered beside the grave. For my eyes, O Lord, our Lord, are toward you. In you I hope, take not my soul away. Keep me from the snares they set for me and from stumbling blocks of those who work lawlessness. Sinners shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I escape. I cry to the Lord with my voice. With my voice I pray to the Lord. I shall pour out my supplication before him, and I shall declare my affliction in his presence. When my spirit fainted within me, then you knew my path. 
For on the way I was going, they hid a trap for me. I looked on my right and saw there was no one who knew me. Refuge failed me and there was no one who cared for my soul. I cried to you, O Lord, I said you are my hope, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my supplication, for I was humbled exceedingly. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison to give thanks to your name, O Lord. The righteous shall wait for me until you reward me. Out of the depths have I cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should mark transgression, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Let us honor the instruments of grace worthily. John Basil and Gregory, the harps of the Spirit, resounding trumpets of preaching, awesome and clear in tone, thundering from the heights to declare the glory of God to the ends of the earth. And again to one of my toes, we pemina sikiri, a pemina ipsikimu is ton logon su. Il pisen ipsikimu epiton kirion. Tatis caritos organa, tas kitharas tu pnevmatos, tas esimus sapingas tu kirigmatos, ta foveron ke kakuston. Exipsus ichus as frontas, get in dogs unto theu, norizus as tis perasis to tris kiricas, tis megalis triados ioan in ke vasilion axios, sin Gregorio timis omen. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. Let us worthily honor the three champions, the bulwarks of devotion, the three apostles added to the twelve, rivers overflowing with living waters from Eden, flooding the face of the earth with life-bearing and divine streams. They have formed the faith as the elements form creation. Oti para to kirio to eleos, ke poli para avto litrosis, ke avtos litros et eton Israel, ek pason ton nanomion avtu, Tis triados i pro mai hi ev se vi es i pro voli i meta tus do de catris apostoli i ex edem man ev lizondes to zoni don potami ke to proso pontis yis zoiri tos potizondes tis rev masi tamé galas to istichia Tin tin pis tin ospekti sin sin istonda axio kreos ti mastosan. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise Him, all you peoples. There are no tongues or words in which their voices are not heard. He says. For the proclamation of the ungodly and wise teachers has gone out through all the earth and the sea of creation. Therefore, through their divine precepts, great things are gathered and assembled into untrue doctrine for the ends of the earth. For his mercy rolls over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Let us who follow their teachings praise the instruments of the Holy Spirit. With hymns they are the trumpets of truth, the words of orators, 
Let us entreat them, for they are bold before the Lord, that he may always grant forgiveness to us all and great peace to the whole world. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Today let us extol those God-bearing fathers whom we call the mystical of the Spirit, or when they declared theology, it was like they were playing harmonious music in the middle of the church. They taught that the Trinity is one unchanging essence and Godhead. They were the front line defenders of the Orthodox, and they brought down the heresy of Arius. Now they always intercede with the Lord that he have mercy on our souls both now and ever and to the ages of ages Amen Who cannot call you Your extraordinary childbirth, the only begotten Son, who timelessly shone forth from the Father. Ineffably became incarnate and was born from you, o pure one, being divine by nature. For us he became human by nature.
not divided into two persons, but acknowledged in two natures without confusion. To him pray fervently, O noble and all blessed lady, and implore him to have mercy on Plus our souls. You strengthen my heart when I was in distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. The Lord will hear me when I cry to Him. Reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Moses spoke to the sons of Israel. Behold, I am delivering the land in your presence. Go in and inherit the land I swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give it to them and their seed after them. So I spoke to you at that time, saying, I alone am not able to bear you. The Lord your God multiplied you, and here you are today, as the stars of heaven in multitude. May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are, and bless you, just as he said. So I took from you wise, understanding, and knowledgeable men, and made them leaders over you leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens, judges to interpret the law for you. Then I commanded your judges at, at that time, saying, Hear the cases between your brethren, and judge righteously between a man and his brother, or the resident alien with him. You shall not show partiality in judgment. You shall judge the small and the great. You shall not shrink before any man's presence, for the judgment is God's. The reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Moses spoke to the sons of Israel. Indeed, heaven and heaven of heaven belong to the Lord your God, also earth and everything in it. The Lord chose your fathers to love them, and he chose their seed after them, you above all nations, as it is this day. Therefore circumcise the foreskin of your heart, and do not be stiff-necked any longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods, and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality nor takes a bribe. 
He administers justice for the resident alien, the fatherless, and the widow, and loves the resident alien, giving him food and clothing. You shall fear the Lord your God, you shall serve him, and hold fast to him, and take oaths in his name. He is your boast and your God, who did these great and glorious things for you, the things you saw with your own eyes. The reading is from the Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torture will ever touch them. In the eyes of the undiscerning they seem to have died, and their departure was considered to be misfortune, and their passage from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. For though in man's view they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Though chastened in a few things, great kindness will be shown them. For God tested them and found them worthy of himself. He tested them like gold in a furnace, and accepted them as a whole burnt offering. In the time of their visitation they will shine forth, and they will run about like sparks through straw. They will judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall reign over them into the ages. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful shall continue with him in love. Because grace and mercy are upon his elect, and he watches over his holy ones. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord God, for God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Again we pray for Archbishop Alexios. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests, the hieromonks, the hierodeacons, the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and for all of our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us who here have been piously laid to their rest as well as the orthodox everywhere. Again we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, and for the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we offer a glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Amen. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us. We have set our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, Master, grant me understanding of your commandments. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. And let us ask for a Christian into our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, 
and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Christ the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, that they have told us and ever Virgin Mary with us. all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and benevolent God, and to you we offer up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord, our God, we, we, we have bowed our, to you, we have bowed our heads and, and we bow our heads to you before and showing our apprehension that you are our God. Bless us this evening in all that we do in worship of your own most honorable and majestic name. For blessed and glorified be the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, Trinity of bishops, great bulwark of the church, pillars of righteousness and strength of the faithful, downfall of the heretics. You shepherd the flock of Christ with godly teachings and fed them with many virtues. You were openly Preachers of grace, setting forth laws for the fullness of Christ's church. Heavenly guides and gates of paradise, pray to Christ that he grant, may grant our souls great mercy. The holy ones shall boast in glory, and they shall greatly rejoice on their beds. Rejoice, trinity of bishops, earthly angels who traveled the heavens. Salvation of the world and joy of all champions of the word and teachers of the universe, skillful physicians of soul and body, ever flowing rivers of spirit, watering the face of the earth with your teachings. Ladders of theology, golden ones of golden preaching. Pray to Christ that he may grant our souls great mercy. O Lord, your priests shall clothe themselves in righteousness. Your saints shall greatly rejoice. Rejoice, Trinity of bishops, earthly skies reflecting the sun, radiance and lamps of the Trinity, enlighten men of those in darkness, fragrant and beautiful flowers of paradise, Theologian, wise basil and chrysostom, tablets of the Spirit, written by the finger of God, nourishing with the milk of salvation, adornment of wisdom, pray to Christ that he may grant our souls great mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us sound the trumpet with a clarion of song and festively let us leap for joy 
and exultantly let us join chorus for the annual celebration of the God-bearing teachers. Let the king and princes run together to gather and with hymns let us extol the three hierarchs who were like three massive rivers mellifluous and perennial cascading with the Spirit's doctrines. O shepherds and teachers, let us come together and praise those three sacred mystics of the Holy Trinity. O philosophers, praise them who were wise. O priests, praise the pastors and sinners. Our defenders, you paupers, those who make you rich, you in tribulation, your consolation. Your fellow travelers, you travel, your pilots, you who fly and sail the seas, and everyone next to them who anticipate everywhere the most godly hierarchs and in loading them let us say to them all holy teachers quickly quickly come now and deliver the faithful from the scandals of this life and rescue us from everlasting punishment both now and forever and to the ages of ages amen now we call you blessed o virgin theotokos and we glorify you duty bound as believers the city unshakable the walls indestructible the firm steadfast protectress and the place of refuge for our soul 
Oh, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory of your people, Israel. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Those three magnificent luminaries of the trisolar Godhead who lit up the whole world with rays of divine doctrines, those mellifluent and rivers of wisdom who irrigated all creation with the waters of the knowledge of God, Basil the Great and Gregory the Theologian and the illustrious John whose tongue produced golden words. Let all of us who are enamored of their words come together and sing hymns to honor them, for they are ever interceding with the Trinity on our behalf. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever. both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. When Gabriel had uttered, Rejoice to you, O Virgin, then with a voice was the Lord of all becoming incarnate. In you whom the holy ark of old, prefigured as righteous David said, You carried your Creator and proved to be more spacious than the heavens. Glory to him who dwelt inside of you, Glory to him who came forth from you. Glory be to him who through your childbirth has set us free. Wisdom. Father bless. Blessed are you, Christ our God, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord God make firm the holy and pure faith of the pious Orthodox Christians, together with the holy and great Church of Christ, this holy metropolis, and this city to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Christ our God and our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Kidialation, kidialation, kidialation. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praise with the apostles of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and our fathers among the saints, the great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and merciful and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Please be seated.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is the Synaxarian for the three saints that we commemorate today, the three great ecumenical teachers, as we just heard, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom. This tells us how this feast came to, into being. During the reign of Emperor Alexios Komnenos, which is 11th century, a controversy arose in Constantinople among men learned in the faith and zealous for virtue about the three holy hierarchs and fathers of the church, Basil the Great, Gregor the Theologian, and John Chrysostom. Some argued for Basil above the other two because he was able, as none other, to explain the mysteries of the faith and rose to angelic rank by his virtues, organizer of monastic life, leader of the entire church in the struggle against heresy, austere and demanding shepherd as to Christian morals. In him there was nothing base or of the earth. Hence, they say, he was superior to John Chrysostom, who was by nature more easily inclined to absolve sinners. Partisans of John Chrysostom retorted that the illustrious Archbishop of Constantinople had been no less zealous than St. Basil in combating vices, in bringing sinners to repentance, and in raising up the whole people to, uh, to the perfection of the gospel. The golden-mouthed shepherd of matchless eloquence has watered the church with a stream of homilies in which he interprets the divine word and shows its application in daily life with more accomplished mastery than the other two holy doctors. According to a third group, St. Gregory the Theologian was to be preferred to the others by reason of the majesty, purity, and profundity of his language. Possessing a sovereign mastery of all wisdom and eloquence of ancient Greece, he had attained, they said, to such a pitch of contemplation of God that no one had been able to express the dogma of the Holy Trinity as perfectly as he. With each faction setting up one of the fathers against the other two of his, in this way, the whole Christian people were soon caught up in the dispute, which far from promoting devotion to the saints in the city, resulted in nothing but ill feeling and endless argument. Then one night, the holy hierarchs appeared in a dream to St. John Mavropoulos, the Metropolitan of Echaita, Separately at first and then together, speaking with single voice, they said, as you see, the three of us are here with God and no discord or rivalry divides us. Each of us, according to the circumstances and according to the inspiration that we, he received from the Holy Spirit, wrote and taught what befits the salvation of mankind. There is not among us a first or second or a third. And if you invoke one of us against the other two, are immediately present with him. Therefore, tell those who are quarreling not to create divisions in the church because of us. For when we were on earth, we spared no effort to reestablish unity and concord in the world. You can conjoin our three commemorations into one feast and comp compose a service for it inserting the hymns dedicated to each of us according to skill and knowledge that God has given you. Then transmit it to the Christians with the command to celebrate it each year. If they honor us thus as being with and in God, we give them our word that we will intercede for their salvation in our common prayer. In these words, the saints were taken up to heaven in a boundless light while conversing with one another. St. John immediately assembled the people and informed them of this revelation. As he was respected by all for his virtue and admired for his powerful eloquence, the three parties made peace, and every one of them urged him to lose no time in composing the service of the joint feast. With fine discernment, he selected January 30th as appropriate to the celebration, for it would set the seal to the month in which each of the three hierarchs already had a separate commemoration. The three hierarchs, earthly as an earthly trinity, as they were called, in some of the wonderful troparia of their service, they have taught us in their writings and equally by their lives to worship and to glorify the Holy Trinity, one God in three persons. These three luminaries of the church have shed light of the true faith over all the world, scorning dangers and persecutions, and they have left us, their descendants, the sacred inheritance by which we too can attain to the utmost blessedness and everlasting life in the presence of God and of all the saints. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers and through the prayers of Saints Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, 
May the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity grant you protection this evening and forever. Our next service will be tomorrow. It'll be at 845, not the usual weekday service uh, time for Orthos at 9. We'll be here at 845. Uh, and also, uh, that's, uh, the liturgy will be at 10. Join us in person if possible, online if necessary, and have a blessed evening. Please come forward with us.